Okay, welcome to the second part of my CSS battle series. And in this video, we're solving Karom. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is the target, what we need to achieve. This is where we write our code. I'm going to delete all of this comments. I don't need them. And then this is the result of our code. I'm going to turn off this slide and compare. So we need to achieve something here that looks like the target. So where do we start from? Uh, first, let's give our background the right color. So background, I'm going to get this background, which is this color here by clicking on it. I copy it. Then I can come here and paste it. Where is my background? Sorry. <laughs> I have the body. Then I have the background. And then for the div, the div should have the right color, which is this orange. So I'm going to copy this also and come here and paste it in this background property. Also, I'm going to remove the margin from the body. By default, bodies have margins and that's why we had that little space at the beginning, as you could see. Now we have this. The next thing we need to do is we need to have four boxes. So I'm going to copy this, paste, paste, paste. Now we have four boxes. Um, what's going to be the next thing? I'm going to put all of these boxes in a container. So I have a div with the class of container. Then I close the div here and then I'm going to put all of these boxes into this div. One, yeah, I'm just going to add some indentation here. Okay, um, so now I can say dot container and I can say display flex. Then I'm also going to change the size of the div. So I'm going to use my favorite property aspect ratio. I'm going to use one over one. And what this means is that if the width is 100 pixels, the height will be the same as the width because we have one over one. So if I make the width 50 pixels, the height will also be 50 pixels. Now I'm coming back to this container. If I say uh, justify content center, does that work? No, that doesn't do what I want it to do. Or is it justify items? <laughs> no, I don't think it's justify items. It's justify content center. I want everything to be at the center. How do you do that again? Or what if the width is 100%? Oh, 500 pixels. 100 pixels. 100%. Okay, that doesn't seem to be doing what I expected to do. <laughs> Uh, and the height is also 100%. Oh boy, <laughs> I don't know how to move from here. I want to spread this thing. What about space around? Really? What's wrong? Margin 20 pixels. What? Oh, I see what's wrong. This div is applying to also this container div. Oh, I see. So I'm going to say dot container. So it's going to be the div of the containers. Okay, finally. <laughs> okay, now we have the space around, but I want to have space between instead. Great. Now the next step, I'm going to do is I'm going to put two divs in one parent. So I'm going to have div class and I'm going to call this left. And then I have div class and I'm going to call this right. Great. So I'm going to put the first two divs in here. And I'm going to put the second two divs in here. Great. So the container has a justify content of space between. Oh, by the way, I need to specify. You know what? For these divs, I'm just going to give them a class of block so that I can target my elements in a better way. So I'm going to give this a class of block and I'm going to come here and just do dot block. Great. Now, the next thing is for the left, I'm going to have um, a display of flex, but I'm also going to have a flex direction of column. And then I'm going to have, I think, align 
items of space between nope that doesn't work uh, uh i think it's also justified content that doesn't work also mm. um what's up what's okay um probably also having a height of 100 percent and that doesn't work also <laughs> What if I give this like 200 pixels? Yeah, then why isn't 100% working? 100%. Aha, finally. So the container needs to have a height of 100%, then the left has a height of 100%. And now we have the space between. And I'm going to do this for the right also. So I'm just going to use the comma and also add it for the right. Great. Now, how to bring this <laughs> to the center? So, what I'm going to do is for the container. I'm going to have uh, a margin. No, no, no. So for the yeah, I'm going to have a margin of auto, so that it's going to be at the center. Then for the height, the height should be maybe 400 pixels. Does the trick, and the width should be 400 pixels. Oops, that's not doing what I expected to do. 500 pixels, 600 pixels. 600 pixels okay that's not working <laughs> i will go back height of um, 100 percent as we initially had then i'm going to have padding so for the padding this would be like 30 pixels also this is spanning out of the box and the reason for that is because of box sizing so here i'm going to specify box sizing border box yeah so by specifying the box sizing it's it would make sure that when i add the padding the padding doesn't change the height of the container so if i remove the box sizing by adding the padding this would extend the height of the container to span out of the height but by adding this to make sure that it contains um, whatever padding i add within the borders of the container so 30 pixels is not enough 40 50 okay 50 now I can come here, turn on slide and compare and test. Ooh, I finally got it. So just to show you, if I make this 40 pixels, if I check the slide and compare, you can see there is a difference between what I have and the target. So what I have is on the left, the target is on the right. So you can see it here. But by making this 50 pixels, see, everything is the way we want it to be. And I think that's the end of this, so I can submit great 100 so new high score 100 percent match if i check my solutions 100 percent match <laughs> look forward to the next part of my css battle series